<clears throat> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Warm August team from London, uh, bringing to you live breakfast from Gurgur Manor House. Uh, I hope the washing machine is going to allow us to hear clearly um, what I'm going to present to you this morning, uh, Sunday, the 2nd of April. 2023 uh, okay um, welcome to my kitchen welcome to my kitchen I think uh, for breakfast today let's just uh, see what's in the tray for breakfast today and we'll see what we, we are going to make okay we're gonna have watermelon okay watermelon uh, we have already eaten half hmm? we have eaten half so what remains is this this half here and the seeds we are going to keep the seeds so that we can go and plant them in uganda then we have banana we have mangada clementine then we have washington oranges in the tree as well we have cookies yeah cookies these are uh, fox classic okay fox classic uh, you have some still there left so we're just gonna have a bit and then we're gonna have pure honey okay pure honey and uh, and um, pure honey and um, I'm going to share with you uh, how to make porridge it's called unga unga or maize flour porridge here only boiling up a little bit let's have, let's increase the fire a bit fire a bit yeah yeah is a ginger tea that's a milk water and ginger okay ginger uh in uh in uh in Uganda, this one's here, we call it, um, what do we call this? Uh, I'll figure it out again. <laughs> what do we call this? Uh, uh, okay, you know, it's ginger, it's ginger, but then there's a name for it in, in, in Uganda. Uh, we call it, uh, Oh, let's see if we can have it in the in the park. If it is written in the park, if if the park can help me jog my mind, get it in the park like this sweet, as a sweet, warming ginger. Ginger. This is um. Oh. Okay. Comment, comment, give give me the name please. Give me the name. I, I, I can't be I can't be struggling with all this and, and then you don't give me you don't give me a, 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 a hand. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. Okay? So here we have um uh, we have um uh, Maho Onga or uh maize flour maize flour white maize flour not corn it's not corn this is maize flour so let's take just a scoop of uh, about three four of the, this wooden spoon uh to serve three people three so one one uh wooden spoon serves one person so if you're on your own one is enough okay that's enough definitely that's enough so what we, what we will 
put this away and then we add milk yeah add milk okay this is now this is now the remaining bit of the milk eh? we are not we are not adding anything new then we add twa tamarind juice tamarind juice make it generous so that uh, we can feel the taste so the tamarind juice tamarind juice the tamarind juice will change the color of the white um, the white uh, flour maize flour into something brown which is good because um, tamarind generally is a uh, Tamarind generally is um, sour. Watch. Tamarind, watch. So after stirring, after stirring it and getting a good consistency, you do it. You do it outside the outside the um outside the uh, what do you call it? Outside the, the the fire, yeah. Do it outside the fire. Then you add. A little more water. The water, um, I prefer adding warm water. We have hot water actually in the. We have hot water, hot water in the flask. Yeah, hot water in the flask. So add hot water. Hot water. Yeah. But there, that's enough. Okay. Okay. Lock the flask. So that you don't lead, lose the heat, eh? Because of because of now cost of living, I don't want to be boiling things now and again. We not transfer it on the fire onto the fire. Slide it up. Uh huh. Here we go. And then we start our business, which should not take long at all, because we have used hot water as well as cold water. The tamarind juice is uh, not hot. Tamarind juice is cold, so we should have. Um, you you need to stir it so that you have a consistency, okay? A good consistency. You don't want it to be lumpy. If it is lumpy, too bad. Mm? Shouldn't be lumpy, okay? Shouldn't be lumpy at all. You need it to be consistent. And this is how we achieve it. Then finally, when, when it is ready, when it is uh, bubbling, we will add sugar. Yeah? You, when I add honey in, in, in porridge, this is how to make Uganda porridge, yeah? This is what we call porridge. Not some kind of cereal and then you call it porridge. Because I think... Our porridge is older than the cereal porridge of Kellogg's and all these others. Our, 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 <laughs> our African porridge, yeah, is um, older, definitely older than the cereal. So when you say porridge in Uganda, we mean this, not cereals. We mean either uh, millet flour, ragi flour, porridge, millet flour, finger millet flour, porridge, or ragi flour, porridge, or uh, nyua kal, eh? which um, when we are making it, we make it through the same way. I think if you watch one of my videos we made it so now here we are making uh nyoka nyoka uh, anyogi okay maize flour porridge keep stirring stirring what we want is a, a consistency okay we want a good consistency once we have that Ah, we enjoy ourselves. It won't take long. Since the beginning, 
uh, we have probably used about six minutes now uh, if I assume that we, we, we were preparing our our gnocca for the last three minutes so now six uh, to seven minutes we have used and it's coming up nicely yes it's coming up nicely and it's going to fill the pan but uh, hopefully it will be a thick consistency then when i take it now we, this is something that we used to take in school eh? school boys and girls uh, used to love this because that's what's called breakfast mm, sometimes we, they give you this with a cup of maize then <laughs> this maize maize but no problem at all for children and students we just eat it Hmm? No mercy, just eat it. Then at lunch time, they give you again posho. Posho meaning uh, maize flour, maize flour, um, maize flour bread, ogali. Hmm? In Kenya and Tanzania, they call it ogali in Swahili. Actually, <laughs> Swahili is generally spoken in East Africa, uh, the counties of Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Congo, Sudan, and Rwanda. Okay? And Rwanda. Probably and Burundi as well. So, all, all these East African countries, we speak Swahili. Except in Uganda, Swahili is mostly for the forces spoken by largely by the army, police, and the prison. So because there is a misunderstanding between uh, the civilian population, the civil population, and the forces, uh, the army, the police, and... Uh, army the police and uh, the prisons and and okay the local defense force units people don't like to speak Swahili because it is associated with the the forces and the forces normally don't work for the people normally I'm just saying generally hmm? so now you can see this one is the, the, the porridge is becoming thick I think I think we have achieved a very good consistency. Very good. Eh? Very good consistency. So very soon, I don't need to worry about stirring it. Okay? So we have taken now we have taken now ten minutes preparing this. Obviously some people who don't care about what they eat at all, they will say, oh, how can I take ten minutes? uh preparing breakfast how can i do that i need my breakfast now that attitude makes you eat sometimes things which you should not eat things which are not quite beneficial for you because you're lazy eh? you want a quick fix quick fix don't what has happened i think i think um the camera lens uh huh. The camera lens got um, clouded by steam, hmm? so I've just wiped it. Sorry about that. Try to remove it. Try to edit it out so that you don't see uh, that fuzzy um, recording. Let's see if we can put um, sugar. Uh, a little sugar left. Let's see. A little sugar left. Let's um, let's get sugar. Oh, come on! What's going on? Sugar, sugar, sugar. Let's see. Let's see sugar. You're, you're going to you're going to make sugar. Uh, just um, get it here and there. Hmm? Cause um. It's not okay. This is adequate. It's adequate sugar. Let's 
Look at the, look at what's happening behind us. Guys, I need I need to get my sorry. Hopefully, we will um, hopefully we will um, edit that one out as well. The the camera dropped out of my hands. So my equipment, I was going to ex I was expecting my equipment over the weekend, but it didn't come. So this Sunday, I don't think um three. I don't think um let's let's have about four. Let's have five. Eh? Let's have five and a half um teaspoons of sugar. Because this this is quite a lot. That's quite a lot. Because it serves um serves um at least three people. Now let's let's start it so that the sugar can actually be distributed in the porridge equally now this is the sort of consistency you want eh? when you when you take porridge like this it will really really make you satisfied hmm? and and then <laughs> if you are not careful you can have sleep after taking it because because the tummy will be really full so when we were at school some people put coffee in the in the porridge. Eh? If you put coffee, it energizes you. Okay? And it energizes you, coffee. I love putting um, uh, sesame and granite, granite paste. Same, same, and granite paste. Odi. I love putting OD in this. So I'm not, I'm not, um, um, it tastes absolutely nice. It tastes nice. Telling you, telling you, it's very, very nice. Very, very nice. The, um, the, the sourness of the tamarind is in there. The sugar is just right on the money. The sugar is on the money. And the consistency is, is completely in. It's, it's there. This is the best. This is the best. So let's find um, our bowl so that we can allow it to simmer a little bit and then add it to. We add. Uh, Bowl, uh huh. As the bowl. So what we do? What we do here? Leave it to simmer for about two minutes, two to three minutes, huh? Two to three minutes. So I give it two to three minutes. We are struggling to have eggs, but we have, we have enough quantity here for us to last weeks. Hmm. We have enough quantity for us last weeks okay so i give it one minute 30 seconds one minute 30 seconds and that should be enough for us to remove it okay and then serve this is it look at how it's bubbling eh? so it's, it's basically cooking eh? it's cooking so all, we don't need to stir it anymore but we can, we can, just for peace of mind. So, for example, when we were making kwonkal, we were making millet, finger millet bread eh, the other day, eh, um, I told you that in Southern Africa, these are countries like Zimbabwe, Zambia, uh, uh, Botswana, Namibia, South Africa, these people, when they're making uh, bread eh, or ugali, or really um, maize flour bread, eh, what they do, they started from here. Hmm? They started from they started from water, add a little bit of um, add a little bit of um, flour. Till they thicken. 
Okay, guys. We serve now. We serve now. Oh, yeah? Okay. We serve now. That's cool now. Finish. Okay. The rest of them are still sleeping, so I serve mine. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the cook or the chef, whatever you want to call me, but so I take the lion share. Eh? Take the lion share. Okay? Hold on, look. Look. Our porridge is ready. Okay? Our tea is ready as well. Tea. So we'll serve the tea now as well. Tea and ginger uh, um, has been boiling for a while. And now it's time to enjoy. Okay, our washing machine has done well as well. It's only remaining eight minutes. And then I think it's spinning for the last time. And hopefully, it will be done shortly. Okay, guys, this is Womogo team with breakfast on the 2nd of April. Sunday, the 2nd of April, 2023. Bon appetit, bon appetit everybody, bon appetit. We have very good breakfast today. So come and enjoy. What have you had for breakfast? Let me know so that I can let the others know what you have had. And I, I, Womogi, would improve my breakfast. Okay then. The tree is served. We will we'll put sucker water and cut the watermelon. Add it here. Oh, let's get something else. Something else, something else, which I was about to forget. Let's get this well ripe mango, uh, giant mango, Miyambe Atika, 89p in a uh, 89p in a um, little okay the knife to go with it knife to eat the mango okay everybody you're most welcome thank you very much bye, -bye.